Hello, this is the help video for Exchange 2003 where we will show you how to restore an Exchange database to a recovery storage group. In a previous video we showed you how to set up the Exchange client and how to run a backup. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and look right at a recent backup job and perform the restore. So we'll go to our Jobs History tab. Here's the Exchange Backup I'll use. We browse right into it. Um, so we can just kind of drill down into the Exchange uh, and then the ESE Backup uh, folder. And underneath our first storage group is where we will find the mailbox store and the logs. That is what is needed to perform the restore. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to kind of ignore the public folder store. So what we do is select the mailbox store and the logs. Now, if I just hit restore, uh, I would expect the restore to fail because uh, without having done any steps further, it will attempt to overwrite my current or my live database. And I don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is bring up the Exchange System Manager. Let's see. Here we have the server name. And if I right-click on that and choose Recovery Storage Group, it will create the Recovery Storage Group. I can pretty much accept the defaults. One caveat to that, though, is if you need to restore your database to an alternate location, perhaps a D drive or an E drive or some other place where there's more room, perhaps, uh, you would go ahead and make that change here. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and take the defaults. That created this recovery storage group. If we look, there's really nothing underneath it. The next step is to right-click and choose Add Database to Recover. This would list out however many databases you might have. Since I only have the one, it's pretty simple to choose. I click to highlight and then click OK. Uh, again, I can just take the defaults. One thing I'll note is there's this little option to allow this database to be overwritten by a restore. Uh, that's always going to be checked by default, but you'll want to kind of double check and make sure that's there. Uh, real quick uh, side note, if I did want to restore back to my original location, I would need to do a couple of steps. I would have to dismount the store, and then after the store was dismounted, I would have to go in and view its properties. And uh, under the Database tab, I would have to make sure that this database could be overwritten by a restore. Again, that's not the purpose of this video, so we're just going to cancel that. Uh, and we'll just focus on having this uh, recovery storage group with its mailbox store ready to go. So now I'll jump back to my Restore tab. I'll go ahead and click on that. We see that the job gets submitted. I hit OK to clear all of this out. Um, if I check my server active jobs, we'll see that it's running. Just to view the logs, it shows that it is restoring to a staging directory. This is how the exchange agent works. We'll take our database and restore it to a temp location, and then we notify Exchange that it can then take that data and uh, pull that into the recovery storage group, and we should end up with a mounted database that we can go and look at. I'm going to close this, and we may have to wait just another moment for this job to finish. Okay, as soon as I refresh and it's gone, I can assume that the job is finished. So we'll come back here, and good, we see that the job completed successfully. So now what we'll do is go back to our Exchange System Manager. And if I clean that up and refresh a little bit, I should now see a clean uh, mounted mailbox store. If I come in here and look, I should see uh, several mailboxes, all of the mailboxes that were part of that store. Uh, they are going to be not mounted, but one of the tasks I could do, say for example if I wanted to uh, merge my uh, if you needed to merge uh, these restored uh, email messages with the current or the live email messages, you would do that by uh, running running through these steps. You can merge or you can copy data.
So uh, I'm going to let you figure out the rest of that, but uh, that's how you would go about performing a mailbox restore to a recovery storage group.